So we have a Rockwood 2504S 2017 Mini Light. And here's the dinette area with the table down and the slide. I have the slide in right now. Um, what I noticed, you can come over here, was uh, over here, I noticed the, the wood trim here in the frame coming away from the wall. It was about a uh, quarter inch plus pulled away from the wall. So uh, I didn't do a video of that when it was pulled away from the wall before my fix. But um, here's a picture of what it looked like. So it was um, pulled away pretty good. Uh, when I fixed it, it pulled back together and the silicone that was there um, just kind of smashed back together and you can't even tell there was a problem. Um, I, I'll show you right now um, what I did uh, to make the repair. I removed the cushions and the, the board that was on the bottom where the chair was. I unscrewed uh, this back panel here. I've got it unscrewed right now. And I've done a repair here also uh, with this panel. It was all uh, warped. There was no bracing behind it or anything. And so, um, and then when I pull the seat cushions off, here these are Velcro it would be all pulling on the panel. It was all loose. So um, here's a picture of what the paneling looked like when I took it off. So what I did was I, I just took this paneling off here. You can see it's nice and straight now. Um, I just took a uh, 2x4 Cut it uh, about seven eighths inch uh, deep here, and um, just glued it on and clamped it in place. And I just had some scrap plywood. I used plywood to go crosswise here because I saw it was cupping like that, and this paneling was like all over the place. Glued it in place, let it dry overnight, and now it's uh, really. It's nice and stiff, so I like that. Um, and then what I did was where the little Velcro pieces stuck on here, I made sure I put it so they screwed into the board back here. So they're in there nice and solid. No chance of them pulling out of the paneling in the future. And then, put this over here. Over here, what I noticed, here's the the seat and then here's the back and then where it was pulled apart here um, what it did was I saw here uh, let's see if I could do this they had the screw here just into the thin paneling and it's not very solid inside there and so what it did was it wasn't in nothing solid right here this is where the tube framing of the uh, slide out goes. So I took this screw out here and I moved it here more in line with the tubing. And that's in line with the ones below it. This is screwed down here, right there. So it all goes in line and it's screwed in it solid. I pushed really hard along here while I used the screw gun and pulled it right in. So now it's really solid. So now all I got to do is take the back and put it back on, and uh, and then I'm done with this. So um, this is a, a project that anybody could do um, if you got a few tools, but um, this might just not apply to this Rockwood trailer, but it could happen with other trailers. Um, 
this will give you an idea of what to do if you have this type of seating or any panels that are similar to this in your trailer um, that are warped or anything you could do is the bracing in the back like this so it you know it only adds maybe about a pound or two to it maybe three pounds to your trailer which is not a big deal it adds strength and that way when you sit in the chair too it doesn't um, flex um, I noticed this here when they had the gap here if I sat down in the chair it kind of pulled it away from the wall more so this screw being moved here will help a lot so I'll put the back on and then show you what it looks like before I put the back on I want to show you something here I kept this away uh, maybe an inch and a quarter from the side so that when it goes up in here that my new framework will be in here and not if I went flush to here then it wouldn't it wouldn't go in this is one inch by one inch tubing so I left myself plenty of room all the way around it so it would accept it so I have the back screwed back in place and this here is nice and solid I wish I had done a video of uh, that paneling what it was doing if I had done this before I put the bracing in so pretty easy fix and uh, I recommend people checking um, their trailers to see if anything's pulling apart from walls or in the other parts of the trailer um, just keep an eye on it if it is they probably have just screwed into the thin paneling here instead of into a brace or a, a stud in the wall so there you go happy camping everybody don't forget to subscribe and hit the the bell so you can see other videos i've made thank you take care bye